Art, to me, is the expression of emotion through visual media. I started off with just drawing on loose leaf, you know, during school hours and things like that. And that was all well and good, but eventually I thought I needed to move on to new media. I've used charcoal, pretty much all kinds of regular art, really. I've gone into Photoshop, Illustrator, I tried InDesign a few times, and I use several websites too that specialize in digital art. I think for me it started as a kid. I always really had this imagination about me. I always saw things in my head and I really at a certain point just wanted to put them into pictures, words, and actually share what I had in my head with the rest of the world. I've known Shannon for the last six years and ever since I've known her she's just been really into drawing, really into anything art related. Back when I met her in middle school, she would really just draw wolves sitting in the same poses. And she did that for a couple of years. And then a while later, she finally started to develop her own style and really start branching out, designing people and different animals and creating all her own animals. It was extremely impressive, just some of the work she was producing. Just amazing quality work. And you know, I'm really proud for her. She's like my best friend, my little sister, and I've seen her come this far, and I can't wait to see her go even farther. Well, it all started when I joined a website that I'm not really part of anymore, but I used to be really into, called DeviantArt.com. I started out there, I met a few people who liked my work, and I liked theirs, and we became friends, and friends started to grow and accumulate, and eventually I had people following me, even though I didn't follow them. I guess you could call them fans. And at a certain point, they started asking me, hey, could you draw my character? And I said, yeah, why not? I have free time. I can do it. It's not a big deal. And that just sort of escalated and escalated. People heard from people, this, that, the other thing. And I just started doing commissions, be it for characters, pets, family, things, logos, advertisements. Just kind of branches off. She got into designing weapons and armor and just really cool stuff. And from that and a couple character designs she came up with, she designed the poster for Hunter Season, which now is her story. She actually took me, her, and her friends Aaron and Heather and put them, and put all of us into the story and just really tried to include all of us as much as she could to get us involved in it as much as, you know, we could get involved. I was never really good at writing. So instead of writing, I figured to myself, why don't I just turn it into a little more than just you know, a novel? How about I turn it into something that people can see and experience with me? So Hunter Season went from just being an idea in my head to a whole line of ideas that are just ready and well in the making of becoming something more. And I hope by putting imagination into it and completely turning it into something fantastical or something completely non-realistic almost, it can garner the attention of society and maybe just scale its way up.